hey guys welcome to the tutorial of matplotlib uh, in the previous tutorial uh, we saw how to plot our data points in a single chart and in this tutorial uh, we are gonna see how to plot our data points with multiple axes so let's import our package import matplotlib dot by plot as plt and our magic function of inline plot lib inline now uh, suppose we have these many values we have the roll number of six students and their respective marks in maths and english and their average now we want to plot these values so uh, what according to you is uh, is a great plan uh, now many would say that uh, let's plot them on different charts because we have multiple axes but uh, we can plot them in a single chart so let's see how we'll say plt dot plot and we want our x-axis to be our roll number and y-axis to be max similarly we want our x-axis to be roll number and y to be english and finally we want our average So let's see. Oh, there is a mistake. We have plt dot plot not comma. Yeah. So as you can see, we have plotted these values on a single chart. Uh, let's make our chart size look a little bigger. We say plt dot bigger. And big size equal to let's say 10 by 6. Okay, so this looks much better. Now, uh, still, we have some confusion as uh, by looking at the chart, we cannot say which one is math, English, or the average. So it becomes the uh, difficult uh, to label them so let's label them we want our maths column to be labeled as maths okay and we want our english column to be labeled as english and we want our average column to be labeled as average now will it do so it still doesn't why so because we have not invoked the function of legend plt dot legend Now it has invoked. So this plt dot legend it uh, invokes the label function unless and until you you do not apply this plt dot legend it will not show you this uh, label information. Uh, now uh, we can do some other things as well. Like if you want to change the location of this. Uh, label so you can say here location is equal to you can say uh, lower right if you want them to come to lower right now its position has been changed to lower right okay now if you want them to come to uh, 
object space center. So this comes as center, but it doesn't suit so because it is overlapping your uh, data point, your plot. So the best way to apply location is to apply the parameter of best so that it automatically finds the empty space in the chart and it uh, locates your labels there. So one more thing you can do is uh, if you want grid values, so say plt dot grid and yes, so now it has applied grid to your chart. Now you can easily uh, correlate the values of row number two marks in English is this much of in math it's 80 so you can correlate the values very easily using these data so uh, that's it for uh, this tutorial guys uh, if you have uh, any questions any queries please feel free to comment and we'll be uh, looking forward to much more in matplotlib so stay tuned for my next tutorial and please uh, subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.